हाउ डू यू कम आउट ऑफ डिप्रेशन बाई योर सेल्फ इधर इट्स मेंटल कॉन्स्टिपेशन और इट्स मेंटल डायरिया इफ यू कैन handle these two you're going to have a blissful amazing and peaceful happy life for sure no matter what but to stop this only we are taking all of these steps that you need to follow in life i'm not going to suggest meditation because i know how difficult it is to sit and meditate at this point of time all it requires is lot of will power determination and dedication from your side the first step towards everything is like having the desire to get back to your original self and not be down all the time the simple solution for this is change your thoughts if you change your thoughts automatically your emotions will follow your thoughts so if you have happy thoughts your emotions will be pleasant and if your emotions are pleasant you're going to feel joyful blissful happy but the catch here is we are unable to control our thoughts that is why all these steps that i'm going to be saying is very important and for that to happen consistency is very very important i'm going to tell you step by step process that you can come out of this by yourself however bad state you are in now the first step is actually sense control now sense organs we have five like eyes ears mouth touch and smell now what you put into this matters a lot now you might feel it's irrelevant but it's completely relevant you cannot make sentences without knowing alphabets or words so this is like the base these are like the alphabets a b c d even in sense organs the majority is actually mouth and then eyes and then comes the ears so the first is mouth now how do you control your mouth by eating the right food now right food i mean by eating only only satvik food not like vegan diet or anything like that satvik food is basically vegetarian food with milk curd ghee buttermilk and all of that this is exactly what satvik food is this is mentioned as per bhagavad gita without onion and garlic so basically it's a complete vegetarian diet without onion garlic and coffee tea the reason why coffee tea and onion garlic are avoided is because they are stimulants this if you follow it you're going to feel a major tremendous tremendous change trust me you guys if you are a meat eater you need to stop it right away the depression or whatever you feel it's never going to be fine unless until you leave this so the meat has to be completely avoided any dead food has to be completely avoided any stale food has to be completely avoided there are things like alcohol drugs and tablets and all of it they are not even come under any category those are all to be completely avoided onion garlic plays a major major role i am a vegetarian by birth very rarely i have had onions especially going out during college times eating outside foods like bel puri or pav bhaji and leaving onion i've experienced tremendous tremendous change i'm going to clearly explain about all of this in an upcoming video about just about food but for now you need to avoid all of these things if you really want recovery quick so even if you want quick recovery you can even leave it for time being and see the kind of drastic change you're feeling within yourself and the second thing that's very important is like what you see with your eyes and what you hear with your ears has to be completely satvik so try to avoid binge watching continuously this is like the first first and the most most important step in controlling your thoughts and then eventually your emotions the second step is actually you are going through a situation some issues that's bothering you big time right you need to take a pen and a paper and write down exactly what are the situations that has happened in your life that's kind of made you like that this is like brainstorming exactly where is going wrong because mentally it's kind of getting too cluttered and we are unable to think or come to decision properly we are actually writing it down on physically and kind of getting the solution of it so whatever you are facing through not having the good job or not having a good relationship or had a breakup bad breakup or um, not having enough money to do something that you want to do or whatever the issue that you're facing or like even somebody has left you and gone for good you have to do is find c a r car now what car exactly means is what are the things you can change in that what are the things you just have to accept and no other option left and what are the things you can remove from your life now for example change i mean by not change the other person that's never going to happen like if somebody is constantly hurting you or if you feel emotionally drained by some person all you can do is change yourself now there are certain situations that there is no other solution but to accept break up ha- has happened or you have lost your job or something or the other like something major that has happened there is no other option but to accept it here what we are doing is we are actually looking at the solutions of the 
situation or the problems that we are facing than actually dwelling on it and cribbing it or trying to blame game or uh, feel miserable or just get into a rut keep playing things over and over the head and all of this we are trying to avoid this completely by looking proactive and looking at the solution oriented mindset the whatever you can change in, personally you have to change and whatever things that you cannot change in situation you need to accept there's no other option and remove is like you cannot tolerate a person you can just let go of the person once for all you can be without toxic relationship or you can leave certain desires if the desire is kind of bogging you so much you can leave the desire so you can figure out whichever uh, category or solution falls into start applying that in your solution the third important step that you need to take is start affirmations now why i'm talking about affirmations is because currently if you are in a rut currently if you are in a very bad mindset you need affirmations it's like a kind of rope that you can hold on and come up right so it's very important if you're currently in a rut to start actually affirmations so whatever you are not able to let go you can make that as an affirmation so for example if you have problems with the past you can say i let go of the past completely you can just keep affirming this and or if you have anxiety or panic attacks and something it's basically you're thinking too much about the future because of the past issues so basically there are only two things either it's mental constipation or it's mental diarrhea what i call it as so mental constipation is basically getting stuck on a situation and kind of replaying that over and over the head and feeling miserable and feeling stuck the second thing is actually like mental diarrhea basically it's a second step of mental constipation some past worry has kind of gotten to the stage you feel anxiety you feel panic attacks or whatever name you want to call etc etc it's basically mental diarrhea too much overthinking too much thinking about the future and worrying something that has never actually happened in your life you're just worrying about it because of certain bad and bitter past events so that's it mental constipation and mental diarrhea to stop this only we are taking all of these steps that you need to follow in life so you can affirm like this i let go of the past completely i let go of the future completely i'm so glad and happy to be in the present and i'm completely focused on improving my life you can affirm like this depending on whatever situation you are in try to find an affirmation that will actually give you hope to come out of this now in the beginning it's not possible for you to affirm mentally you can write it down in a paper and keep reading it every day you can just paste it in front of your eyes the minute you get up you have to start affirmation so that your mind is not going to get back into full on where it starts again panicking or depressing or whatever so this affirmation is very important the next important thing that you need to have is actually gratitude now how do you develop gratitude now this gratitude is very important because you are actually developing the emotion of feeling gratefulness from within to be contented in life and not expecting wanting or more and more most of the time this mental constipation mental diarrhea is happening because we are not ever ever contented or happy with the existing things that we have or the existing life we have so gratitude is very important you can simply say like i'm so grateful for the healthy body that i have i'm so grateful that i am able to wake up in such a safe place and i call it beautiful home or i'm so grateful to have good food and i'm so grateful that i've got an idea on how to work on myself and improve myself these are some of the examples you can feel gratitude for anything and everything you have to do it every day that you get up and every any night before getting on to bed these are very very mandatory so you need to treat gratitude and affirmation as like you know people who have breathing problems they have this an inhaler so that they can feel some relief right so you can also treat it like that by any time you're kind of feeling that your head is getting clogged or you're going to have bad thoughts and you're going to feeling that way immediately affirm and have gratefulness in your heart by practicing all of it all you can do is just have to read it and say it loud out loud even if you're in a place where you cannot say it out loud you can just read it keep reading it keep reading it and kind of calm yourself down now the fifth important step is like praying to god what i mean by praying is not like going and doing a business transaction with him like give me this make me this that's not what i mean by praying a praying is actually chanting the god's name because god's name is very 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 powerful you can chant any mantra that you know if you don't know any mantra you can say om namo bhagavate vasudevaya or hare krishna hare krishna 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 hare 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 rama hare rama ram ram hare hare or om namo narayanaya if not Om Namah Shivaya anything any of the mantra you can keep repeating every day now you need to do this one or eight times a day in one sitting these mantras are very very powerful because you are directly getting power from the god's source of energy it's like your battery is gone like 10% and flashing and it 
currently plugging yourself into the charger you know the battery is not going to get off and you can continue using phone and it's going to get eventually to 100% as well that is simply like that by chanting this mantra the mantras are very very powerful early morning the minute you get up after affirmation practicing gratefulness you know to start with mantra and this is the only way you can do and the same thing you also have to follow at night as well mantra affirmation and gratitude and then going getting on to the bed these are the first and last thing that you need to get up and get to bed with that's it these are like a heavy dose of medicine kind of thing that will help you calm your mind this requires an overall lifestyle change but after three days of doing regularly you're gonna already feel like a little bit of change especially if you control the food that you take you need to eat only sati food only fresh food fresh food as much as possible wherever you are in the ladder try to improve one step ahead if you are a meat eater stop the meat get on to vegetarian if you are a vegetarian person try to stop onion garlic even coffee and tea you can gradually reduce by drinking you know less of it over the course of days but onion garlic has to be left completely at one shot because it's gonna make a major 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 difference trust me you guys you try it for three months if you are not getting any change continue doing whatever you want but you are gonna get amazing amazing and tremendous changes here it's mentioned in bhagavad gita try to leave these food habits you're, you're gonna find miracles happening in your life since you are actually going through an emotional turmoil these are very very important to get yourself on track without this you can never get back on the track popping up the pill is not going to solve because it's just like covering up the process that i'm telling you is actually plucking any weeds out from the root now if you follow all these steps you're going to feel instant changes in your life and you're going to feel really grounded you're going to feel back to normal again but i should also warn you that you need to continue following this with complete dedication determination every single day no matter what so if you are feeling miserable right now and you really really want to get out of it you will do it every single day if you're not doing it every single day that means you're not interested in yourself getting better that's exactly what it means why do you have to carry like a 20 kg rock on your head and keep walking around it's good to have lightweight head you know so the mental constipation and mental diarrhea is happening because we are totally totally ignorant of the real life that we have all of this illusions will be demystified only and only when you get the right knowledge and the right knowledge you can get only from the scriptures which is an evident proof of what exactly real life is all about so i'm not going to get into spiritual aspect of it right now because if you're in a miserable stage you don't want to be thinking about the a uh, spiritual aspect of it although that's the way that we have to live life but as of now the immediate step to get out of this miserable feeling is what we got to focus on and these are the five steps you can implement right away from today now follow all these for 3 days you're going to start feeling the changes happening within you continue doing it for 21 days it becomes a habit and you're going to feel more and more happy more and more better and continue it for 3 months to become a new person altogether and you will not have any issues at all your all the wrong wiring happening in your brain will be rewired you will definitely feel 1000 times better than current feeling that you're going through right now i promise you all of this please be dedicated and determined you can direct message me on my instagram at aditi ayer if you want any other further assistance or help from me i would be glad to help you guys out so but it's all in your hand to implement it it's you who has got yourself into such kind of situation such kind of mental diarrhea or constipation now it's you who is going to fix your mental diarrhea and constipation and get back to your normal self and you can do it and um, i will give you all the support that i can from my side as well i hope this video will help you as a guide for you to go ahead